lilies have large, stunning, colourful and beautifully scented flowers. But did you know that growing your own at home is actually really easy, even if you only have a small garden or even a balcony? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to plant lily bulbs, whether it's in your garden or how to grow lily bulbs in containers so that you can have your own great lily flowers this summer. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back. I am a really big fan of growing flowering bulbs because they just give great results and are actually a lot less work than growing plants from seed. So I thought I would show you three different ways to grow some great summer flowering bulbs that are sure to give you that real hit of colour in your own garden. And it's these lilies. Now, lilies are perennial. So that means that once you've bought them, if you look after them after flowering in terms of feeding them and watering them, then you should get year after year of blooms out of just these little bulbs. Also, because lilies are actually woodland plants, contrary to what you may immediately think, they don't require full sun in order to flower, although they will perform well in full sun. That makes them a great all-rounder for almost every garden and they are fantastic container plants. Now, two quick things to be aware of though. Firstly, lily bulbs and lily plants are poisonous to not only people, but also animals. So just bear that in mind if you want to grow them yourself. Perhaps grow them in an area away from where your beloved pets can access them or plant them in containers. And then that way you can still enjoy having these flowers. Also, some lilies are a little bit picky about the soil that they like in terms of pH. Now, they're in the Oratum and Speciosum series. Now, that's going to be shown on the packet, but the ones that we're going to be growing today are the ones that are widespread in garden centres, and that's because they're pretty robust, strong performers that actually aren't too fussy about their soil type. So, let's get planting. So let's discuss the first method for planting your lily bulbs. And as an aside, you may notice that this bulb has already sprouted. And quite often when you buy your lily bulbs from your garden centre or online, depending on the time of year that you buy them, they may have already sprouted like this. Do not despair. Everything is going to be absolutely fine. You can still plant them as they are and they're going to be A-OK. -okay. The great thing about planting bulbs into your soil is that you're not actually limited to planting only spring flowering bulbs like daffodils and tulips outdoors into your soil, into your beds and your borders. You can also plant things like lily bulbs and they're going to do really nicely. All you need to do is observe pretty much the same rules as you would do for spring flowering bulbs, and that's to make sure that they're planted deep enough. Now, if you're planting them in the spring, make sure that they're covered with at least 12 centimetres of soil, or what's easier to remember is make sure that they're covered with at least three times their own height in soil. If you're planting them earlier on, like in the winter or even further back into the autumn, plant them an extra inch deeper. That extra inch is going to give them an extra little bit of frost protection and it's going to help get them through the winter. When it comes to planting these into the soil then, simply use a bulb planter to twist into the soil and lift the core of soil out or use a trowel or a spade to either dig holes where you can put clumps of bulbs together or you can use a shovel or a spade to dig a long trench if you're going to be planting plenty of these. Top tip, before you set them into the soil, put a nice layer of gravel on the base of the hole that you've created and then set the bulb on top. The reason that you're doing this is to make sure that each bulb has plenty of drainage. Doing that means that while it's sitting, starting to develop its roots and its shoots, it's not going to get too soggy and it reduces the risk of it rotting off and you not getting any flowers. So once you have that nice layer of grit, set your bulb on top and simply backfill with your soil. And then the really vital thing to do make sure to label where each of your bulbs are because until they start to show their shoots, it's really easy to forget where they are and accidentally put a spade through them. Trust me, that has happened to me before. Okay, so now that we've looked at the first method of planting bulbs in borders and beds, 
Next up, let's talk about planting them in containers. And this is probably the most popular way that gardeners and growers choose to grow their lily bulbs. Growing in containers has several really big advantages. The first being that it's easy to move your plants around to have them exactly where you want, rather than being committed to them growing in one location. The second advantage is that you can really individually tailor the growing medium for each of your bulbs to exactly what it's gonna like so that you've got the best chances of success. Now, for me, when it comes to growing medium for lily bulbs, you can't go wrong with this, a really nice gritty compost mix. So to make this, all you need to do is get yourself some nice high quality peat free compost and add to it a big generous helping of horticultural grit. Once you have both of those constituents, then give it a really good mix with your hands, a really good break up, and what you'll be left with is this, a really nice crumbly mix that's got really sharp drainage and that sharp drainage is going to mean that while your bulbs are sitting in the compost and just developing they're not going to get too wet, they're not going to get too cold and that means that they're not going to rot off or at the very least you've got the least chances of them rotting off. In terms of container this is what I am going to be using a metal bucket. And the reason for that is if you have a look online or in garden centres, dedicated plant pots and containers can often be really quite expensive and, because it's for a specialist market, quite often simply overpriced. But if you're willing to have a little bit of extra thought and consideration when coming up with your containers, you can find some really good bargains. And this is a prime example. I picked these up at a local low cost DIY store. They're actually buckets for ash and they're galvanized, but they're going to work beautifully. Two things though, if you're going to be using a metal bucket that you really do need to think about. Firstly, they don't have holes in the bottom when you buy them. So you're either going to have to drill holes or puncture holes in the bottom so that your bulbs and your compost don't end up waterlogged and dying off. Secondly, if you live in an area where it does get very warm, or if you're planning on putting these in an area that will be in full sun for large parts of the day, just bear in mind that a metal container does heat up and you don't want it to get too hot and cook your bulbs. But certainly in a temperate climate like here in Ireland, these are going to work perfectly. The other advantage of using buckets is that they're nice and deep and they hold plenty of compost because as with planting bulbs in beds and borders, you want to make sure that they're buried at least 12 centimetres under the surface of your soil or compost. But at the same time, you want to make sure that they have plenty of compost to fill with their roots so that they've got the best chance of growing into really healthy plants. That's where you want a nice, big, deep container. Now, Planting these themselves really couldn't be easier. All you need to do is look at your container and get a rough idea of how deep you think you need your bulbs to go. In this case, I'm gonna leave maybe about an inch and a half from the top where I know that I can water it nice and easily and that the compost isn't gonna overflow. And from that level then, I'm going to look down about three times the height of the bulb. So I know that it's gonna to want to be situated at about this point in the bucket. So all I need to do then is take my really nice gritty compost mix and start to fill the bucket. And then once I have that first layer in place, simply take the bulbs and place them on top of that layer. Now, in terms of spacing, you want to be spacing these bulbs at least, I would say about four or five times their own size apart. That means that each plant is going to have plenty of room to grow, but equally they're not going to be too far spaced apart and it's not going to look really sparse and empty. For a bucket this size, I would really be thinking maybe three bulbs or possibly at a maximum five. What you have to remember as well is these will grow to quite large plants and also their flowers are really big. So don't worry about not having too many plants in each container, you're still going to get plenty of impact. And now 
Once we've got the bulbs in place, all we need to do is continue filling up the container up to the level that we want with our lovely compost mix. So you'll see now that I've filled up the container, leaving that inch to an inch and a half space along the top. I can cover this with a nice layer of horticultural grit just to make it look really tidy and sharp. Give it a nice good water and then rather than putting this exactly where I want it to flower, I'm going to leave this outdoors but in a nice sheltered position. You would do the same with spring bulb containers as well. So I would recommend somewhere like round the back of a shed or up against a nice sheltered wall. That's just going to give these the shelter and the peace and quiet for them to start to develop and start to grow. Once you see the plants growing, wait until they're about a foot in height and then move them to where you want them to be. And then all you have to do, keep them watered, possibly give them a little bit of feed later on in the summer to really encourage the flowering. And then all you need to do is enjoy the flowers and the scent during the summer. So now that we've got our container planted, that covers two brilliant ways of growing your lily bulbs, directly in beds and borders and in your own containers. But we're not done yet because I've got a third method that can actually give you more options and flexibility in your garden and can potentially save you money. Bear with me and I'm going to explain why. It uses standard pots or aquatic baskets. Now, if you were to plant bulbs like this into pots this deep, realistically, these are actually just too small to do the job all the way through the summer. But at the same time, buying containers can be quite pricey. And especially if you're using them for spring bulbs, you may not be finished with them yet. For instance, earlier in the autumn, I showed you how to plant one of these. It's a bulb lasagna. At the moment, I've got beautiful reticulata irises flowering, but this is going to do me for another few months because it's full of miniature daffodils and tulips. That means that I'm not going to be able to use this pot for at least another three months, but I want to get my lily bulbs started. Also, when it comes to planting in beds and borders, it's really quite a permanent decision in that once they're planted, it's really gonna be quite awkward to move them and you're always gonna to need to make sure that you have them marked because once they've died down, you need to remember where they are so that you don't hit them with a spade. And that's where these come in. What you can simply do is fill these with a little bit of the same gritty compost mix Plant your bulbs into them, and then once they're in position, continue filling up with compost. Again, leave these in a nice sheltered position around the side of a sheltered wall in the same way that you would do with any other lily bulb container. And once these plants start to grow taller, then what you can do is you can simply plant these out like you would do with any other plant. The advantage of this is it's going to give plenty of time for containers like this to die back. Then you can empty these out to dry the bulbs off ready for autumn, but you can then reuse the container and it saves you having to buy more and more containers just so that you can have a nice ongoing container display through the year. It's such a handy thing to do because it buys you that extra little bit of time to think about exactly where you want to plant your bulbs, whether it's going to be out into beds and borders or whether it's into containers that you've emptied. It saves you buying extra containers and it gives you that extra little bit of certainty compared to just planting the bulbs out into the soil. So there you have it, three great ways to plant your lily bulbs, whether it's directly out into the soil into nice decorative containers like this, or into small containers ready to be planted on in a couple of months time. Whichever method you choose, I'm sure you're going to have success. And within a few months, your garden is going to have gorgeous blooms like this, brightly colored, really structural, and a lovely knockout scent. It's just gonna add something really special into your garden, into your balcony, or into your containers. Now, at this time of year, it's not only summer flowering bulbs you can be planting, and in fact, I've created a whole series of monthly seed sowing videos for lovely flowers that you can sow. If you'd like to check that out, the link is here, and down below is another video that I think you're gonna love. And until next time, see you later.